Dink thinks you are doing good work here. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Meet me near the ruins of Falbutton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Ah, up a hogsfield. No way to... Wonder who lives here. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. 
I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Madolf! Madolf! My dear, dear brother! Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Sirona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Sirona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sorona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgot him. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. They know what they do. Potato! You don't want to try that again. This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. I still need to visit the cave to find Sirona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk lumps while I'm there. Better have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Rebellion. Hmm. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Incendio.
Incendio. Must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box. I think that's everything. Meet, here I come. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk lumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Well, let's see. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? 
You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! <laughs> Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Expelliarmus! He wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willard's he might get an answer about these butterflies. The pulsar! Rebellion. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. Oh. 
I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garleth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garneth's mooncalf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Poachers! Garnif was right then. I'd better be careful. One less poacher in the wizarding world. Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit?
Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Looks intriguing. Garnef, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. I wish I'd paid more attention when I was at home. for me about the butter. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! 
lovely. I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? <laughs>